Recently at the UFC 253 pre-fight interview, Diego Sanchez said to the media that he would like his last fight to be against Conor McGregor. I said I shoot for the moon. Conor McGregor is the the number four fight. You know, like I I, I envision myself dominating these next three fights and finishing my career with a fight with Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor has now responded to Diego. He posted this on his Twitter saying to Diego Sanchez, I seen your recent comments about your final bout and I'm in. After you fought Pohera, I requested myself and you to compete in Dublin. This was back in February when I was working on opposition for my season, pre-COVID. Good luck this weekend. He followed up with us pushing hard for the season. Multiple opponents, multiple dates offered throughout, all to take back to back. Then when COVID hit and the talk was I have to wait for the crowds again. I walked away from the situation. I was waiting long enough at that stage. He ended it off with anyway all the water under the bridge who gives a I'm boxing Manny Pacquiao next in the Middle East. A 5 round heavyweight battle between Thiago Santos vs Glover Teixeira has been rebooked for a UFC fight night card on 7th of November. Thiago Santos is coming off a split decision loss to John Jones and Glover Teixeira is coming off a TKO win over Anthony Smith. A 3 round heavyweight battle between Volkan Ozdemir vs Nikita Krylov has been targeted for a UFC card on 17th of October. Volkan Ozdemir is coming off a KO loss to Jerry Prochaska and Nikita Krylov is coming off a unanimous decision win over Johnny Walker. A three-round bantamweight bout between Cody Stamen versus Mirab Duvalishvili has been targeted for a UFC card on 5th of December. Cody Stamen is coming off a unanimous decision loss to Jimmy Rivera and Mirab Duvalishvili is coming off a unanimous decision win over John Dodson. Michael Chandler on his Instagram live speaks on what his plan is if he doesn't fight at UFC 254. Hey Mike, if we don't see you in two, at UFC 254, when will we see you again in the octagon? So that's a good question. I don't know. You could, you could see me in, uh, in Abu Dhabi at, at UFC 254. I will be there. I will be making weight. I will be showing up. I will be doing all the fight week stuff. I will be. I will be in the mix. Um, so we will see. Um, you know, I, I already told Dana. I've already talked to him and said, you know, I'm grateful. Grateful for this opportunity. Um, I wouldn't be afraid to, to to fight by the end of 2020. I wouldn't be able to f be afraid to fight right at the beginning of 2021. And I wouldn't be afraid to also hold out for the. Um, that title shot against Khabib or, or Gaethje, whoever wins the fight, or go out there and, and fight the loser of the of the main event, fight the winner of, of Ferguson Poirier if they end up fighting, um, or fight Poirier or Ferguson on 254. You know, there's a lot of different ways this whole thing could play out. All I know is I'm going to stay ready. I'm going to stay ready for UFC 254. I'm going to stay ready for, for, for Abu Dhabi Fight Island. I'm excited about that. Um, to be able to go out there and, and, and get acquainted with the new UFC you know the new promotion you know you guys you guys who have been following me on here for a, a long time you guys know i've been fighting for bellator for 10 years i've been fighting for 11 years i've gone through 26 fight weeks but i've never gone through a ufc fight week i've never gone through a fight island fight week never gone through a fight week um i fought in japan before so i fought across the world but i've uh have only done it once so you know i'm interested and excited to go across the world across the globe to abu dhabi and uh, go to Yaz Island and, and uh, make the walk, make the weight cut, um, do all the fight week stuff, you know, meet everybody. I'm, uh, my phone's been, you know, blowing up with, with all the new UFC, uh, all the new UFC employees and staff calling me, getting acquainted, you know, from PR to communications to um, videography. The, the UFC film crew is coming down here tomorrow, so we'll be filming some stuff the next two days. Um, you know, it's just, a, it's an exciting time for me. So, um, we're going to see how it all plays out. I got a great relationship with the UFC. Um, they obviously believe in me. They believe in what I bring to the table. They believe in my skill set, and, uh, you know, they've seen it for, for many years and they knew I was going to be here eventually. And I knew I was going to be here eventually. So now we get to finally see it. So I'm ready for anything. Special guest, Alan Sahlan, Alan Sahlan, the king of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Bon dia, bon, bon noche, bon whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> He's gonna announce on Saturday the new <laughs> UFC 
champion of the world, Paulo Borrachinha Costa de Razer. And what a fight is gonna be, what a fight is gonna be. It's gonna be wonderful, I'm gonna tell you, man. This you know, Paulo, Paulo loves my mom. He went to see my mom at her house, and she's gonna wear his shirt wonderful. while she watches the fights. Wonderful. No, it's gonna be, I'm gonna tell you, this fight is gonna be unbelievable. What's up, brother? What's up, Lenny? Yeah. How you doing, buddy? I, I, oh, How good, you? man. I'm the 10th, man. Come eat dates. You know what I mean? This is the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you need a date. Everybody <laughs> needs a date. <laughs> How you doing, brother? How you doing, my friend? When? Look, look, in the tent. You know what I mean? I'm home here. I, you know, we're gonna celebrate the Paulo wins with this. With the new Puncher's Chance bourbon. <laughs> For those that believe that one punch can change their lives, like Paulo! Oh, he's gonna change his life, man. This punch is gonna change Paulo Borrachinha life even better. It's changed, really. UFC change, really, you know what I mean? One day, uh, one day I told Frank Fertitt, hey, you imagine how many people all over the world change their lives because of UFC? Yes, we've seen everybody. 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 We, you know what I mean? It like changed it. our lives. It changed Dan our White, lives. Dan White, Lorenzo, Frank Fertitta, never be forgotten. Now, our Emmanuel, our friend, for go Gene Venice. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, guys. Saturday, yeah. the new UFC champion of the world, Paulo Costa. This guy gonna announce. This guy here gonna announce. May the best man win, but you know what? When it happens, I will say it. When the judges give me that decision. Oh, okay, good. You talk about my jiu-jitsu. You are like a kid on jiu-jitsu, blue belt. He's a blue. No, he's not a blue belt. He's a nothing. He's a nothing. You talk about my jiu-jitsu. Are you kill me? It's a joke. It's a joke. Big joke ever. I ever see ever. Blue belt talk about my jiu-jitsu. Crazy. It's, this a decision is fun. He's a funny guy. It's you know, funny. he's a con artist. How say? Con artist. Con artist. Con artist. He, uh, he don't have the 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 the, the weight. The degree. Of he the lie degree. about his weight. He about he lie about you his know. ability. His ability. You know, he's like the guys come. You know, I don't wanna say that, but you know. Why a joke? <laughs> As John John say, he's the he he's the nerd. No, he he's the most dangerous ner nerd of the planet. He's a no, he's a kid, man. Why can't I tell? He's a he's a look like a naive. You know, I feel sorry for him. Fight Island update, 48 hours here, quarantine, one more hour to go. I am counting the minutes. I can't lift any more furniture before I break it in my room. I've done about a thousand push-ups. I can't wait to hit the gym, get outside. This tiger has to get out of his cage and I am ready. Also, I'm ready to roar Saturday night, UFC 253, but we've got a few days before then. Lots of time to enjoy this beautiful Yaz Island, or shall I say, Fight Island. Many things to do. Got the beach, got the Formula One track, we can ride the bikes, the gym, can't wait to do that. Great restaurants, everything, the service here is amazing. It's first class, we're at the W Hotel. Couldn't ask for anything better. The safety and protocol is amazing. Even hazmat suits when they deliver food to the room. I'm sure you've seen all that on other people's posts. But right now, not just me, but a number of people waiting for that knock on the door to get our little wristband, to be able to walk around, and enjoy life even more than we're enjoying it now. Nothing like being on Fight Island, waking up at one in the morning and taking a two in the morning bike ride all around the W in the areas we can go, right? Let's go, we're back to the W to fix a broken chain, but we are undeterred heading back out. Let's go, people. That's it, baby, hour plus, let's do this. We gotta stay in shape, we got a big show. UFC 253, and there's my man. That's a producer, Lappy, he's a lot of fun too. Okay, take care, enjoy. Where's Felder? Right here, Felder, the world says hi. Lightweight contender. Yeah, baby. Woo. Woo. Abu Dhabi, Fight Island.